This is currently the view. We're it is beautiful. We're 12,000 feet up in the air, above sea level. It is so freaking cold. Oh my God, we're all like shivering. It's only 15 degrees with a wind chill, so it makes, makes it feel like it's negative two degrees, but no big deal. Yeah, but it's really beautiful. So we're outside of Star Kitchen. This is where we're gonna get dim sum. The wait is crazy. There's like a, probably, I think you can see the people behind. We already been waiting for like 30 minutes, so it has to be like really, really good. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> well, we just left dim sum. What did you think about dim sum? Incredible, as always. Yeah, Chino loves dim sum. I'm not the biggest fan. I'd kind of rather just have like duck, rice, noodles. I don't really like the whole, all the dumplings and everything that you have for dim sum, but it was still very good. Now we're heading over to where? We're going to Blackhawk. Don't say that too fast. We're going over to Blackhawk to play in the casinos. It's like a mini Vegas. It's like a valley just with casinos in in Colorado. It's amazing. So we're gonna go there. Then we're gonna go to, to Breckenridge, but we're gonna take a few pit stops to look at the mountains and look at the valleys, like the frozen over lakes, get all the scenery in. And then yeah, we'll be in Breckenridge in probably a few hours. Yeah, so I'm really excited. It's been a very long time since I've been like up in the mountains and have gone to, you know, take pictures and stuff like that. So we will, hopefully they have like names for the pit stops that we make because I'll like add that into here. How much did you, how much are you up? 125 bucks. Jesse, how much are you up? 540. Woo! You? 310. Five. <laughs> First, they are going to size our feet. Alrighty, last step. We got the boots, we got the helmet, we got the poles. Now we're getting the skis. This is our second day here in Breckenridge and it is snowing. So yesterday me and Sharon took skiing lessons and they were so much fun. We learned a lot. I think it's definitely worth it. We paid a little over $200 for a full day lesson. So it was from 10 in the morning until like three o'clock. And they took us, they, they literally taught us everything. We felt like professionals. And then after that, we met up with everyone and we went to a blue slope to hit the last run. We didn't know like how intense it was gonna be because we just learned how to ski and I ended up getting super injured. So my knee pretty much just like completely went on a 180 turn. And today, unfortunately, I'm not gonna be able to ski. So I'm actually gonna join everyone, head over to the mountain, and then I'm gonna go to the clinic. So I'll let you guys know um, what's wrong with my me because it is killing me. I can't put any weight on it. It's super swollen. I like can't go up and down the stairs. I can't bend it without it hurting a lot. I can't extend it without it hurting a lot. So yeah, it's it's not looking too good. 
Alrighty guys, so I am in the medical place. Um, I went to the first aid area at Peak, Six, Peak 8, sorry, and the medic there was saying that it looks like I have a torn MCL, so that's the inside part of your knee. Um, and he pretty much said like, you could just go, like, you know, go about your day, or if you want, you can go to the emergency center that we have here. It is gonna be charged as like an emergency room bill, so it's gonna be expensive, but I'd rather just get x-rays and get someone to really check it out just in case. So yeah, I don't think I'm gonna be able to ski tomorrow, nor Wednesday. Wednesday we're going snowmobiling, so that doesn't really matter, but Thursday and Friday, I'll have to see how I'm feeling. I'm really hoping that they give me a brace to kind of tighten it because it is very painful. Worst thing that I've ever done in my life. It's good for your body. Oh, God. No, no, no. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, welcome to day, I believe this is day three or four. Um, I'm currently at a coffee shop. All my friends are out skiing and snowboarding, but the cripple here has to now work. So I called my boss and pretty much asked her if I could cancel my PTO so that I'm just able to work. I'm at a coffee shop right now. We're gonna be checking into a second Airbnb once I'm done here. Um, I'm gonna pick everyone up pretty much or I'm gonna pick up my boyfriend from the slopes. But yeah, I pretty much either tore my MCL or strained my MCL and it kind of sucks. I'm in a lot of pain. I have a brace right now under here and the swelling is going down but i think i'm not going to be able to ski or really do anything for the rest of the trip tomorrow i am snowmobiling and i think i'll be able to do that okay because i'm going to be sitting but um yeah it kind of really sucks and i'm very upset but it is what it is everything happens for a reason but yeah it, uh, I'm just here now in Colorado working. I've made it into the second Airbnb. It was such a hassle getting here because pretty much like I had to talk to the guy and the guy was telling me where to go. I had to park somewhere completely different. And again, I am like crippled. So I'm just like on the phone with this guy, like slowly walking, like bear with me. But let me give you guys a little tour. So we walk in and this is like the living room area, which they have kind of converted into a bedroom. So that's that. Here's the kitchen. Let's look at the bathroom. You guys know I'm always super interested in a clean bathroom and it looks perfect to be honest. And there's the kitchen and then there's the main entrance. And then we go into this other room and it's another bedroom. So we got a little vanity area. This one has two beds and then they also have a bathroom and there's also like a balcony area and the really cool thing about this spot oh, there's a little desk den the cool thing about this spot is that it's literally located at a lift so we're at peak seven and yeah like look right there you can see people going with their skis because right here we're at the village and you can just like ski right out of the place which is Pretty amazing, wish I could ski. But yeah guys, that's pretty much the tour. I'm gonna sit down now and do some more work and I will talk to you guys tomorrow when we're snowmobiling and giving you an update on my knee to see if it has healed a little bit more or not. Welcome to day four of the vlog. My knee is feeling a bit better. I have more movement, but we are currently at High Country Tours where we're gonna be snowmobiling. So. Fit wise, we look, we got like full snow gear on. He has got his goggles, gloves, jacket, ski pants, some snow boots because you know, you want something that has a grip. And yeah, we just checked in. We're about to go get our gear, our helmets and our snowmobiles. Now, if you come to an intersection, you don't know if I took a left, took a right or went straight. Again, please stop. I will come back to get you, I promise.
What's your rating on the High Country Snowmobile Tour? 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. What'd you tubing, like the most? You got, a, you got tubing, which is apparently it's the best tubing hill in America. I don't know if I believe it, but <laughs> it could be. It was, it, we were, we were going fast. We we're going fast. And then the snowmobiling, such a long trail. It was, it was sick. The view's impeccable. Got a little bit of hot chocolate. Amazing. Yeah, 10 out of 10, I would so recommend this tour. And it's not that expensive. It's like a little under 250 per person for three hours. And that includes the tubing. And it's just a great experience. You got some hot chocolate, great photo op moments. Definitely loved it.